Hello, wonderful interpreters, and thank you again for tuning in. Episode 1 of our election series has been received very well within our interpreting community, and I thank you all for your valuable feedback. So without further ado, let's get into the second episode, which consists of two questions for today. And the first question is, why is an independent union better? This is a great question coming from some interpreters that have been supporting us for a while now, but were members of other bigger unions in the past. The answer is that Washington Interpreters is free of any influence or jurisdiction from other national or international labor unions out there. That means that we have the power to function according to the needs of the actual workers in our industry as LNI interpreters. One more thing, we are not affiliated to the AFL-CIO body of unions because we're independent, so LNI interpreters will actually pay lower dues by becoming members once we win the election. We are the cheapest choice because we will only be focused on representing interpreters. You see, we are very different from Wolfsey, which require higher dues from their members since they represent many other industries. And the second question is, can you show examples of other successful independent unions in Washington State? Well, sure I can. So let's look at a few of these examples. This is the Washington Association of Fish and Wildlife Professionals. This is an independent union representing only the workers within their industry, not many other professions. Their members benefit from a union that specializes in only representing the interests of their workers. Please feel free to pause this video at any time in order to read the information that you see on the screen. This is the Adult Family Home Council, which is actually a member-driven organization who is the exclusive bargaining representative of adult family home providers in our state. Here is a fun fact about them. They competed with Wolfsey in a per collection to represent their employees, just like we are doing right now. And they succeeded, joining other several independent unions that have defeated the bigger Ask Me Wolfsey union in an election. They did it back in 2008. And as you see here, 1,844 workers stood up to Wolfsey and said no to them with their vote, just like Ellen and I interpreters will do once we have our upcoming election. Next. This is Familias Unidas por la Justicia, which is Spanish for United Families for Justice. This is an independent farm worker union representing more than 500 Spanish-speaking workers. They won their election back in 2016 and have been very active and successful since then. They are located in the city of Burlington here in Washington State. Next, we have the Mansfield Professional Educators. They were recognized as a bargaining unit to negotiate negotiate wages and working conditions of their district's 12 certified staff. These workers now have an association that better represents their needs and community values. They are a very small body of workers, but they decided to empower themselves. And the last one for this video is the Guild of Pacific Northwest Employees. This is another independent union that defeated the AFSME machine. They decided not to be affiliated to the AFL-CIO body of unions or any other larger organizations on purpose. They recognized the rampant corruption within AFSME and freed themselves expeditiously. Now they are in control by making their own decisions at the local level and keeping all of their dues money. Two of their leaders have joined our live streams several times since 2020, Dean Tharp and JL Comac. They shared their journey and their experience with us and how they successfully broke free from AXME to become an independent union and win their election. And this concludes episode two of our election series. Thanks to all of you, we're now on our way to win this election in order to make our own decisions, just like all of these independent unions that you've seen in this video. Please make time to watch these short videos in our election series and feel free to send us any questions that you may have for us. Your identity will always remain confidential, so please don't be shy. Please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel in order to keep on getting more relevant information for our interpreting community. See you in the next video. Do not lose hope, and as always, God bless.